In this video, I'm hosting a $1 garage sale. Yep, a dollar. Every item's a dollar, and I'm hosting the cheapest flea market store at the markets in an effort to get rid of all my bad buys and unwanted stock that I've accumulated over the last two years as an eBay reseller. I won't lie, stuff's been piling up. We've got thousands of DVDs, hundreds of books, shoes, clothes, you name it, I've got it, and I haven't been doing anything about it. But in today's video, that's about to change. We're getting rid of everything, and I don't care how cheap it sells for. <laughs> well, you got some good ones. Yeah. Appreciate you coming along. Good morning. So our Facebook Marketplace post had 150 views on it, which I, I think that's I think that's all right. If, even if we get about 40 or 50 people turn up today, uh, fingers crossed they can you know, buy as much as they can for a dollar a piece. We'll make some good money out of it. Feel like we've done everything. We're ready to go go over there and pull it all out and hopefully there's a few people waiting to come in. Yeah, for sure, mate. How many have we got? I have no idea. I have no idea? <laughs> it just uh, flashed back to my youth. Yeah, mate. 2000 yeah. AD. Yeah, they're very, good. very cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. Have you got them all? Because there was a stack of them. Yeah, yeah. Go over there. I think they've got the whole lot. You got the whole lot? Yeah. Sweet, mate. That's 13 there as well. 25? Yeah, 25 is bad, my friend. Look at that. No change. Love it. Thanks, mate. Appreciate that. All right. 20 bucks, 20 items. Yeah. Easy as that, mate. It's the simplest garage sale. Thank you so much. Negotiation. Thank you so much. Nah, no dramas. Enjoy all that. It's a good sale. You too. See you later. That's the man for the money. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, okay. Four, five, six. No. no. So six, three, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's go ten bucks, eh? And the shoes. And the shoes. Let's go ten bucks. <laughs> <laughs> He's not good at math. Is this the problem? <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Nothing else? Feel free to keep digging. Yeah. You're the only ones here, so I've got to keep you here. Yeah. I've got to keep you looking. I don't want any of this stuff. So. <laughs> here, take, take those as well. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. No worries. Thank you. See ya. Winnie. Winnie. What are you doing? Take it to the grass first. Yeah. 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 DVDs, are they dollar each? Yep, dollar each. So that's six. six. Oh, sorry. Seven. seven. <laughs> and how much is that? Um, there's a few in there, I think, wasn't there? Let's just go. <laughs> yeah, five. Five books. Um, so what's that? Four, seven, twelve. Oh, I think I've got six here. Um, six items? Two, three, four. Five, six. Yeah. Five, six. Five, six, so it's 18, let's call it 15, eh? No worries. I'll throw it all in the car and come back I'll give you a hand. Alright guys, so it's about 10am, um, we've been out here for three hours now and I've been able to make $115 worth of profit. So about 130 items I reckon we've had sell. A lot of the guys are after the clothing that came today. Clothing was just a big winner. Uh, a lot of good brand names that uh, I just really just wanted to get rid of and uh, and they did sell. Uh, the shoes, they were okay. We sold a number of shoes to be honest. I thought all of them would have sold but they just seem to hang around. Um, no one is interested in the DVDs. I just couldn't move a DVD. I think I sold about five for $5. Um, so yeah, stack of DVDs that I'm still to try and get rid of. The books as well, there's still plenty of books here. Um, they weren't too much of an interest, I guess. Um, so yeah, look, about 35 people turned up today. I made $115 in profit, uh, which is cool. But um, yeah, we might check out the flea markets tomorrow, I think. And rather than buying at the flea tomorrow, I think we might try and sell and, uh, and hopefully add to this $115 worth of profit. So we'll see you then. Five in the morning guys, Sunday morning, flea market day. I think what I realized out of the garage sale yesterday was I wasn't probably as a seller, I wasn't vocal enough. I think as a seller, you've got a real opportunity to increase your sales by your own communication rather than just letting it play out as is. And I think even looking back at the minimal footage that we got of the garage sale was I wasn't speaking enough. So I think in this flea market today, one, it's almost like one of the last chances to get rid of stock to people that want it. So I'm really gonna be adamant around trying to communicate 
to get more sales. So that's gonna be my tactic. Hopefully we get a good little spot at the market. We'll see how we go. Been a pretty successful morning so far at the flea. I reckon that we've got the best stall here at the markets. I think being on the corner um, has allowed for a lot of people to come through that wouldn't otherwise. If you can see here, all of these guys, they're really quite bunched in, but we've just got a big, big, nice open space. All right, so I think we're finished with our setup. I don't, I don't know about the clothes. Clothes is a mishmash. That's good. Shoes are good. DVDs I'll probably push over there. Yeah, DVDs, here we go. Lots of DVDs to sift through here. I know. <laughs> 50 cents each. I don't think you're going to find a stall with 50 cent DVDs here today. No. This is your stall. I agree. This is your opportunity. Look, if you want to even take a tub, I'll do a price. And then you can sift through it at home. How about that? <laughs> Throw out the ones you don't want. I just want to get rid of them, my friend. Keep what you want for the lot. The whole lot? You give me a price. No, you can sell I would have no idea. You're the seller. Well, I reckon you keep having a dig and I'll keep having a think. And we'll talk about a full bulk deal. It's very early in the day, though. That's all right. That yeah. would wipe your store out. It'd wipe my store out. That's what I'd be. I'm only really conscious today. of the store. No, we could leave early. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> no, we can't. We're going to be here until the end. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hello, mate. Right there, mate. Yeah, go. Yeah, awesome tea. No worries. Some good kids' books in there, guys. Yeah, I'll come back when you think about it. I will, mate. I will. Be back in half an hour. The later it gets, the better it gets. It's all right. <laughs> so if you're thinking about doing a bulk deal, I reckon there's probably 150. And it's probably maybe 150. 150. So that's maybe six, seven hundred DVDs. So he wants to come and pick them up as a bulk deal. 700 DVDs, I've got to work out a price, but I don't want to sell it to him now. Because if I sell it to him now, I won't have any stock at this flea market. And it's a pumping flea market, but I, I really don't want these DVDs. So I've got to have a think about it. Which one's three boots? How about five? Five bucks? Yeah. Two dollars? <laughs> They're a bit worn. For two dollars? Yeah, pretty worn. Give you a dollar for them. I'll give you two dollars for them. I'll give you a dollar for it. <laughs> that is one of the, the toughest negotiators I've ever come across. They're really worn and I'm on a budget to where I can take them. <laughs> that is one of the toughest negotiations I've ever been a part of. But I'll, I'll take it. There we go. <laughs> no drivers, thank you. A dollar for footy boots. <laughs> wow. I hope everyone else is listening to that deal take place. <laughs> Talk to them. I will. <laughs> you can't say no based on you what can't just happened. You can't say no based on what just happened. No. I think you knew he had his opportunity there. <laughs> you really shut yourself in the foot there. I did. She absolutely torched me. She did. She was moving on. She was running. Hey, actually, I feel like I won the war. You do you reckon? I feel like I won the war because I got a dollar off it. <laughs> $2 on that one? Fine with that? Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Got the book, mate? Lovely. Thank you very mm. much. Enjoy. Good. Is he bigger or small? He's a small, so a dollar. Best dollar spend you'll ever have, I reckon. Sorry? The best one dollar buy you'll ever <laughs> have. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Appreciate it. it. He's got Appreciate the bum it. bag, so he, he uh, gave the money. The money man. Stay close to him. Though. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Oh, you got the Mickey top. Well played. Two dollars are on that? Love it. Thank you very much. You like the froggy? Well, you can have the frog. You can just take the froggy. That's all right. Enjoy the frog. <laughs> well, you got one now. <laughs> If you haven't been on this side, there's no. plenty more. No, there's not too many out of the mission. Hopefully you got some good ones. Yeah. Appreciate you coming along. Yeah. Got a few series in there, man. There are a few TV series. Yeah. Entourage has a big stack. Um, I, I, mind you, everyone's been in there, so as for what's left. Yeah, right. Like there's a Friday Night Lights. Okay. Um, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Gossip Girl. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just got to do some sifting and see what you can find. Oh, guys, that was genuinely a whole lot of fun. 
10.01, we're all finished and I'm heading off back home. We're gonna count up the kitty and see what we've actually made today. I think it was actually, I think it was actually pretty decent. Sold a lot of stuff. A lot of DVDs today. Garage sale, no DVD sales today. Heaps. Thanks a lot, mate. I don't know how much I'd, I guess, come here and do the markets every week though. I think it's good to be there as a, as a buyer, um, but to actually sell, I reckon a lot of the sales that I made, we're literally talking 50 cents, a dollar, $2. It, it, none of it I would have profited on, except for the DVDs that I sold because I bought them for pretty much what I sold them for. Um, but hey, this is all stock that I just did not want in the house. I've been able to clear out, I reckon a good 30, 40% of what I had at the start of the day in those last three hours, four hours. So I deem the flea markets to be a massive success. That was a lot of fun. And nice to be just type, kind of back in the mode of face-to-face -face selling. Um, that's been my history and my background for anyone new to the channel. I've always just been, I've worked in um, like sporting clubs where you work in di like corporate dining rooms and you're there to kind of mingle and, and connect and just pure business development, right? Um, and you kind of miss that when you sell on eBay. Um, so to come to the flea markets and get that one-on-one -on -one communication with, with people that are interested in, I guess, buying what you've got to sell, to me, that is a heap of fun. That is the funnest thing you can do. So uh, today was awesome and I'm very excited to come back, count up what we've got in this kitty and see what we've done for what was a pretty big weekend of, uh, of selling. So I'll see you back at home. All right, guys, I've opened up the bum bag and here is everything that we've made over the course of the weekend. What you're looking at is $446 and 60 cents. Now you've got to take out 100 bucks as the initial float. So that means over this weekend, we've made $346. And it was $115 uh, that came from the garage sale yesterday, and then $230 that came at the flea market. So we've pretty much doubled our money selling at the flea market compared to our $1 garage sale that we had yesterday. So to make $346 in profit, I'm actually pretty excited about that. So I think after all of that, guys, while it was an epic weekend, I think the flea markets actually turned out to be a better scenario than the garage sale. The garage sale, I had about 30 or 40 people come through. I made about $115, but I was able to double the earnings out of the flea market. And uh, the DVDs, they just flew out the door. There was just so many more people at the flea market today. And obviously having the positioning lock I did at the flea market, I got really lucky there as well. They just allowed so much more foot traffic to come through when you're at the flea market compared to a garage sale. So... I think the big thing here is the fact that I was just able to get rid of 30 to 40% of my dead stock, my trash that I wanted to turn into cash. Um, so to make a few hundred dollars in profit, well, kind of profit, I mean, I paid a lot more for it back in the day, but just to simply get rid of it, um, I think it's a very healthy thing for the business. Um, and now I can go out with that $346 and actually buy decent stuff, stuff that I know will sell on eBay for some good money. So a very healthy, worthwhile exercise this weekend. Um, so that was a whole heap of fun and really cool to piece a video together and get that across to you to hopefully motivate you to go out and do a garage sale or a flea market yourself because I'm sure you've got some stuff that you've had lying around for far too long. So appreciate you tuning in. Thanks for being here. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I'm going to leave you with trip to the thrift video from last week. It was a banging video. I spent 540 bucks and uh, I found about two grand's worth of stuff. So go and check that video out. Thanks for watching this one. We'll see you soon.